if you guys want an explanation to why I haven't uploaded in the past few days, um, this game low-key took over my life, and um, I don't know what to do with myself. Uh, I can't stop playing it, and um, it's been hard for me to even make this video right here. Although it's already been made, already been recorded and everything, I just didn't feel like uploading it. Just because I've been playing this game for so long. So, um, I'm not sorry, but sorry. Also new video editing software. What is up guys? So it is Nisho here today. And, uh, so as you can see, we're getting into this duel right now. And, um, although I did kind of tell my friends I would put music over it, um, their duel, instead you get to hear my nice, beautiful, soothing voice. Well, maybe not that soothing. Okay. <laughs> so, on the left side with the big, bright, and beautiful Excalibur mat, we do have Pendulum Magician. And on the right side, if you did see my deck profile earlier, well, not my deck profile, but Marcus's deck profile earlier this week, we do see Spirals. Now, I am the cameraman in this situation, so I am both the cameraman and the uh, narrator, so um, I guess that gets me some sort of benefit. So, uh,. Spirals start off activating um, Spiral Resort, searches the Quick Fix, adds that to hand. Um, reveal Super Agent, um, I think he calls Spell and he gets it wrong, so unfortunately no special summon there. Um, he sets to 2, Norm Summons Quick Fix, he his effect, and um, obviously he gets to search his Spiral Gear card. So the the thing about Spirals in this format is that I honestly do think they're a good deck. So it looks like he just passes his turn since Resort does get destroyed immediately after. Uh, because Resort only destroys itself during the end phase since he had no monsters to bring back for Resort's effect. So this uh, Penny Mission player summons out Gofu, not bringing out the tokens, but he is going to mill the two Wing Spider. So pretty much what he's doing here is that he's uh, using the two token so one token for one link spider the other token for another link spider and then using all three of them to go into deco talker and um, yes you can do that unfortunately the deco talker got striked but um he did just set two to his side of the field um he does have a few pendulums in hand so let's see what he's gonna do here solemn strike is still stay a pretty strong card um so 8,000 to 1,500. Magician player flips over the time pendulum graph, I think that's what it's called. So, uh, Marcus starts off here with a drone this turn. Um, I think he gets to manipulate the top few cards of the pendulum player's deck, so... That's definitely what he's doing now. Sad, though, how <laughs> Deco Talk got Psalm Strike in a Pendulum deck. You know, Pendulums, I think they really do rely on Deco Talk. So, he did get the reveal right, and uh, the top card was in the Lure of Darkness. Now, he is targeting the Time Pendulum Graph for Destruction, um, and the, he is chaining Pendulum Graph's effect to destroy Drone. He forgot to that Pendulums are Pendulums, and they got some face up to the extra deck. Seems like he did it fine now. Um, he targeted the drone, which was really bad, <laughs> really bad decision because a uh, drone could actually just uh, chain his effect since he does have a quick effect. So he's using Big Red on Spiral Gear to get himself another search. The fact Quick Fix isn't once per turn is probably the most broken thing about Spirals in general because Quick Fix can summon itself so many times through Machine Dupe, Big Red, and even just through normal summons. It's like it really gives you a lot of uh, plus in the deck, and I, I think it's one of the reasons why the deck is good. So, uh, next we do have Fully Armed, so he's at 2600 attacking the Oak Dragon. And I think he's explaining the effect right now. So, um, since the Oak Dragon did get destroyed, since he already used Time Pendulum Graph's effect, he did get to banish the uh, Dragon Pulse Magician. So, he draws into the Alert of Darkness, which we saw as a drone and what's he gonna do here he's thinking spirals really do look he, he, like spirals really do put up a good board even without the the need for um, 
you know, extra deck monsters, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I guess it's because he's playing Pendulum Magician, or uh, playing against Pendulum Magician in League format, that uh, he gets so much more plus off of um, his own in-deck um, cards, you know what I'm saying? Because Pendulum Magician, they do rely on having a scale, which um, did get broken down. I think uh, the Pendulum Magician play was a little too trigger happy with the Time Pendulum Graph, but um, yeah, he's taking both of these um, spirals. Now he did get a Pendulum Call off that Lair of Darkness, so it seems like he's using it now. Quite the draw, if you think about it, um, at this point in the game. Because it does look like the duel is nearly over. So uh, now he's picking his targets. Um, so Black Fang and Violet Poison, I think its name is. Uh, okay, so Maxine off the activation of the Pendulum Scale. So he's scaring him into um, Pendulum something, but it doesn't look like the Pendulum player has a choice. So he's using a uh, Time Pendulum Grasp effect to target a card he controls and remove it from the Pendulum player's, I mean from Spiral player's field. Um, and so because of Pendulum Call, the Pendulum Magicians are not destroyed. And uh, because of Time Pendulum Graph, he gets to send another card in the field to the graveyard. And um, yeah, uh, the card he chose was the Fully Armed and the Fully Armed. <laughs> Uh, bring back the super agent, and the super agent was gonna activate his effect, but he did get striped. So yeah, um, I did find it surprising that the pendulum player did not pendulum summon, especially with the his uh, his time pendulum graph on field. Um, you know, you would think that it would benefit him to pendulum summon this turn. So. Looks like he used Sleeper's effect to destroy the Time Pendulum Graph, and from there, it was the game. So, why didn't he Pendulum something? That is the first question. Um, probably cost him the game at that point, but either way, I, I think the game was already won at that point. Um, Sleeper being real strong, and uh, the fact that it could banish any Spiral card from your graveyard to summon itself is definitely another thing. So, yeah. Well, looks like we're going into game two. That was a real quick game one. How long did that take? That was like a seven minute game. For Yu-Gi-Oh, I guess that's a decent amount of time. Um, so, yeah, and uh, Marcus wanted me to show his hand. Look at that, Instant Fusion, two big reds, some Solemns, and the Pendulum player drew the nuts, drew Gofu again. This time, Deco Talker won't have any um, objectivity hitting the field. Just hit, we'll just hit the field straight. So he summons out the Skull Corbat Joker. He switches zones. <laughs> he he did mess up on uh, zone placement, but you know we, we didn't really care too much. Um, it, it doesn't make that much of a difference. It's only first turn, honestly. Um, although in an actual tournament, it would be like, nope, you're not allowed to do that. So activates the Wisdom Eye. Most of my pops itself puts any other pendulum magician on scale. Putting that. What's he gonna put? Usually people put Oath Dragon, but uh, let's see. Well, that, that, that's what it was before these new pendulum magicians came out. Or not new, but uh, the, the four ones based off of the dragons, uh, the, the, the Dimension Dragons came out. So now we are having a pendulum summon, so one from the hand, one from the extra. So the harmonizing and the wisdom eye. Uh, I keep forgetting that you, you can pendulum summon from the hand. So I was just uh, remembering. So I was just, uh, I accidentally uh, almost told him to, <laughs> to put it back, but it's all good. Harmonizing does sum out the white fang magician. I think that's what it's called. Uh, clearing magician, I don't know. It's, it's the one based off of Clearwing, so that's, that's all we need to know. 
So he does overlay here into Time Star Magician. Still looking at his extra deck. And another overlay into Tornado Dragon. Now this is actually a real strong board because Deco Talker is here as well. So not only will he have protection against targeting, he'll also have Spell and Chop Card Destruction and Astrograph Sorcerer in hand. Probably not the one that I would choose, but um, ooh, look at that. Already flipped over to Time Pendulum Graph. This is definitely a hard board to get, to get over, especially with Marcus's hand. Um, he didn't really have anything too relevant to uh, to stop um, this type of hand. So he summons out the Thousand Eyes Restrict, not in a Link Zone. And Deco Talker does use his effect to get rid of the Time Star. Thousand Eyes Restrict would have only stayed for a, a turn anyway, so I don't think it would have mattered. Tornado does pop one of his set cards, gets a strike. And yeah. So he should have used the, uh, I mean, in my opinion, I would have used the Time Pendulum Graph as well to target the, the Iris Magician so that he could get a search and pop another set card that Marcus had. So Marcus is being the spiral player. Um, another friend just checking the grave. So he's Pendulum Summoning Astrograph Sorcerer. He used it in one of the Link Zones. He didn't have to, but I guess, um, you know, he kind of just forgot about how Links work for a minute. Checking the Grave. He does have another Solemn set, so... Um, you know, honestly, if you have four set cards, and I have a Tornado Dragon, which isn't even English, <laughs> uh, I just really, I, I forgot about that, uh, that Tornado Dragon, I, I think that one's German, actually, you know, like, you think that he would uh, pop a set card before Pendulum Summoning, but no, he took the bold move and Pendulum Summoned just straight off the bat, he does have the Deco Talker, and um, I guess using Tornado Dragon that early would have... Oh, looks like Marcus scooped. He did have two more Solemn set, so he probably could have been able to do something there, but uh, instead just decided to give up the game and go to game three. Power Shuffling. Regardless of how much, you know, people like Power Shuffling in Worlds and official events and everything like that, it is so boring to watch because... In World's Day, they take their dear sweet time. Look at it. Look at this traitor, man, using Vanguard sleeves in his extra deck, man. Like, pick a game, all right? <laughs> no, you can't have both, all right? Pick a game. This is not a sponsor by No Limit Gaming, by the way. So, um, this just happens to be the playmat of choice by the player. Just, just making sure that that is uh, said there. And uh, again, we do have my big, beautiful Excalibur mat on the left there, so nothing beats Excalibur. So let's see what the third duel has in store for us. So Spiral... Oh my God, I already forgot his name. <laughs> um, Super Agent equipped with Last Resort. And just resets for the first turn. Um, starting off with a Twin Twister, definitely not a bad choice. Dropping a Harmonizing Magician. Let's see what he targets. He targets a 2 on the furthest. Uh, summoning out Gofu again. So he drew Gofu all three games. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty crazy, actually. Um, so on the summon of the two of the second Link Spider. So this is actually pretty crazy. So on the summon of the second Link Spider, he used Utility Wire on the Gofu, sending Gofu back to the top of the deck and leaving this Pendulum player stuck because now he no longer has a Link Zone to use. Um, 
I don't think he plays Mrs. Radiant. Um, and Proxy Dragon is not out yet, so. But even if Proxy Dragon was out, I don't think he would be able, it would change the situation at this point. Does he have a monster in his hand? No, he doesn't. He can't pendulum summon. He just realized that. Um, it looks like he's just gonna have to pass. So Marcus draws into a super agent, being a trap card. Oh, because he's wisdom the deck did get shuffled, so unfortunately. But he still gets the normal. And uh, he gets to attack into the Link Spider, leaving the extra monsters on open, and a second Link Spider goes as well. Will he overlay? Link Summon? Can he even summon Last Resort once it's equipped? Does Pendulum summon it into the Wisdom Eye? He is going to attack and use Violet Poison's effect, so Wizard Mind does gain attack, and he does get to destroy the last resort as well. So it looks like he's in a good situation here. Passes activates the big red. So real crazy thing here is that he activates the time pendulum graph in response to the big red, but does not chain the effect to big red. And I think this is the mistake that cost him, or that's gonna cost him the game. Because there is no way that. Okay, uh, I think he's explaining uh, Super Agent's effect to him right here. So he's still using the effect to get rid of it. His sack card does get look, it's a solemn strike. And now he's at a 100 loss. Gets to draw. He drew into a black fang. Can't really do it. Whoa! He's not gonna use time pension graphs effect. I don't think he has any spell cards that's so it would be pretty beneficial. But now he gets to quick fix, and we all know how broken quick fix is, man. Quick fix does get him the last resort. And uh, I think this is the game from here, man. He really should have used Time Pendulum Graph on that big red. Unfortunately, so attacks with Quick Fix and the uh, Super Agent. So the Clear Wing, uh, and he does get one Pendulum Summon. He asked me if he could pendulum summon in defense mode. I'm like, yeah, it's not a link monster. <laughs> so he does get the instant fusion. And still no time pendulum graph activation from the pendulum magician player. Yeah, I have to point him to the link zone this way. <laughs> we in we in a new era now, okay? We have to get used to these rules. And he does Synchro Summon into the Coral Dragon, which without any cards in hand is a little bit uh, peculiar because, you know, what, what's he going to do? Wouldn't a Charge Warrior be better? So, Last Resort. Did that do something? Or... So I think he just got to attack directly um, by Last Resort. Ooh, and look at him drawing into the Skull Core by Joker. Let's see if he can actually make a comeback here. Unfortunately, there is no Link monster he can go into right now that would benefit him. But you see, what he could have done is he could use Time Pendulum Graph effect right there, target his poison and one of his maybe that last resort, and got rid of both of them. And then Pendulum summoned after that and got Violet Poison back and summoned out the Harmonizing Magician at the same time. And look, he's he's summoning another Violet Poison Magician, so um, he would have had another one um, in. So he is targeting the Coral Dragon with Time Pendulum Graph, and he's he didn't really let it resolve. 
the right way? Oh no, he used he used Black Fang's effect itself, and then he used Pendulum Graph on the on the last resort, and now he's going into the Cold Talker. Yep. But you know, it's like going into Deco Talker now after you've already pendulum summoned. In in a deck like this, it won't do you much good. Um, and and uh, it seems there's a problem here. I think harmonizing has some type of condition. Where she can't be used. Um, I just have to read it. I think she can only be used with another magician or something like that. So I think she should have been used for the deco talker. Uh, it's, it's it's just a misfortune that he chose the wrong materials to get rid of. Uh, yeah, the coral dragon was cut, and then deco talker did go over the super agent. So he did draw twice because of coral dragon's effect. It's far resort. And no pendulum graph activation on the spiral resort. Man, <laughs> if the first if the first missing um, pendulum graph's effect wasn't bad enough, the second one, he destroys it after he has already searched. Man. It just feels bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because this duel could have gone a whole lot differently if he would have. He, he probably would have won by now if he destroyed the big red um, when he activated when Marcus activated the big red um, the first time. And uh, now, if he would have destroyed that resort, he never would have gotten quick fix, and that quick fix never would have searched uh, fully armed. And now, because he destroyed. Uh, Skull Crobat by battle, um, he got to banish the Deco Talker. And he does draw into another Skull Crobat, but I don't know what he can get here that's actually going to do something for him. It's looking pretty bad. Uh, yeah, he's reading which monster he can get. He can search any Pendulum monster that's in his deck right now, except for another copy of uh, Skull Crobat, but pretty much any other Pendulum that's in his deck, I don't know, Master Craft. So he does search the Violet Poison. Not the worst decision. So, it activates Violet Poison. He attacks the Quick Fix and uses Violet Poison's effect. So Quick Fix does go bye bye, and so does Fully Armed. But, unfortunately when Fully Armed is destroyed, he does get to summon up another Super Agent. So. And Arota right here. Guys, this is the game. There's there's he has two super agents on board. This guy only has one skull corvat. Searching the tough. This is this is this is tough to watch. Okay, that's what this is. <laughs> uh, is he gonna use quick fix effects? Uh, yeah, I think I'm telling him right now what he could have done. Because it seems like uh, the game's pretty much over, so I just coached him a little bit, but yep, he brings out the quick fix, searches out another big red, most likely. Does he have any more big red? No, nope, he searches out last resort. Uh, the spiral player, Marcus, has so many options right now, but um, I think He's just gonna go for the one that gets him the game. Okay. Goes into a Mrs. Radiant. Activates Last Resort. And Last Resort does let the Super Agent attack directly. And is that game? Counting up the life points. Um, we weren't really exactly counting up the life points this time, but um, yeah, this was this was a pretty cool match. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed. This was Nishjoy here, giving you guys uh, some commentary on some duels. If you guys enjoyed it, you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, just might do it again. 
Uh, really just did this like um, out of a whim, like just because you know, I said, oh, you, you know, you guys are going to do it, let me just let me just record you guys and, you know, see how it goes. And it definitely wasn't a bad match. I do think the Pendulum Magician player screwed up a lot in game three and it did cost me the game. Like, the first mistake was, like, undeniably, you would have made, like, eventually it came back around and he still got the advantage after that, but letting the resort stay on the field and not time pendulum grab, like, he activated time pendulum grab and did not activate its effect in response to resort. So I think that's what killed him the most. Um, a few misplays here and there, but, you know, all in all, he still could have gotten the win if he didn't make that, those, those two big... Um, misplays with time pendulum graphs uh, uh, activation. So, yeah, it doesn't mean pendulum magician are dead, it just means just make sure you know what you're doing. <laughs> so, uh, that was all the recap I think uh, I have to say. This was Nisha here. Hope to see you guys on the next one. Nistro out.